stranded on Mars with no way to communicate with Earth in a habitat designed to last 31 days. Matt Damon's gotten himself into a pickle in The Martian. Welcome to The Briefcase. Every human being has a basic instinct to help each other out. If a hiker gets lost in the mountains, people coordinate a search. If an earthquake levels the city, people all over the world send emergency supplies. This instinct is found in every culture, without exception. The trailer for The Martian has landed in our biosphere and the human race is getting excited. I have to admit the name made me think it would be specifically about aliens or Matt Damon meeting an alien. <laughs> but no, Damon is The Martian in an upcoming film based on Andy Ware's best-selling novel. The backstory itself is pretty cool, the son of a particle physicist and with a background in computer science, Andy began writing the book back in 2009. He researched the crap out of stuff like orbital mechanics, astronomy and the history of manned spaceflight. No publisher ever took to Andy's previous work, so he said screw you all and put it online in serial format, one chapter at a time for free. The demand grew, leading to a 99 cent Kindle version which reached the top of Amazon's best selling sci-fi list. Selling 35,000 copies in three months sounds pretty impressive to me. The print rights were sold to Crown in 2013 for over $100,000. This is one guy with faith in his work. Released in print for the first time last year, it took less than a month to reach number 12 on the New York Times bestseller list. The same time the book was sold, 20th Century Fox optioned the film rights and here we are now. Described as Apollo 13 meets Castaway, The Martian begins during a manned mission to Mars. A fierce storm erupts leaving astronaut Mark Watney, played by Matt Damon, stranded and alone on the hostile planet. Presumed dead, the rest of the crew leave him behind. Not only does Watney have to find a way to contact Earth, but also create a way to survive the four years it would take to be rescued, should his message be heard. Long shot? Yeah. In scenes reminiscent of Silent Running, one of my favourite sci-fi films, we see Watney sizing the shit out of things, growing vegetation like a boss. Don't worry, Matt Damon isn't entirely alone in this one. The Martian boasts a huge ensemble cast. The original space crew is made up of Jessica Chastain, known for Zero Dark Thirty and constantly confused with Bryce Dallas Howard, Kate Mara, Michael Pena and Sebastian Stan, Bucky Barnes from Captain America The Winter Soldier. Watching from Earth is Jeff Daniels and Kristen Wiig in a very rare non-comedic role, which should prove interesting. We also have Sean Bean, Donald Glover and Chiwetel Ejiofor. It's like the whole of Hollywood is trying to save Matt Damon's life. Ridley Scott is in the director's chair and Drew Goddard is responsible for the screenplay. This guy has written for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Alias, Lost and World War Z. The script was such a hit they decided to launch it into space. Literally. The cover page was aboard a new Orion spacecraft on its first test flight in December last year, marking the start of hopefully a new era of human exploration beyond Earth's orbit. According to producer Simon Kinberg, NASA have been really involved and incredibly generous in the process of making this movie. It's not a remake, it's not a reboot, it's not part of a franchise. It's a freaking original work of art based on real science that looks like it will blow your mind. And it's being launched this November. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Then you're gonna say, this is it. This is how I end. Is it possible that he's still alive? Mm-hmm.